So spinal structural and inflammatory disorders. We're gonna be talking about spondylitis, spondylosis, spondylolisthesis, and disc issues. So spondylitis, spondy is referring to the spine. Makes sense, right? Itis is inflammation. Spondylitis is inflammation of the vertebrae. Avoid massage during active inflammation. And a subset of spondylitis is ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing is Greek for to bend, and that means someone has had spondylitis for so long that it's starting to create an additional curvature of the spine, a hunched posture. Body work helps with flexibility, but don't use deep tissue pressure on the inflamed joints. If there's active inflammation, always in your contraindication, don't massage it. Or if you are, keep it really, really, really gentle. So spondylitis and ankylosing spondylitis, when they're not an active acute inflammation, it's okay to give them a, you know, a decent massage according to their preferences. But when they're in inflammation, then avoid working around those vertebrae. Spondylosis is degeneration of the spine due to aging, typically. There are some conditions that can cause additional spondylosis. Sometimes inflammation can cause spondylosis over time, but the spondylosis isn't about the inflammation. So if someone just has spondylosis, then there isn't really a contraindication to massage as long as they don't have inflammation. Just try to relieve the tension of that spinal degeneration that happens because things get off balance. So, yeah. Spondylosthesis <laughs> See, the spondy part is what made it all so confusing in my head. Spondylitis, spondylosis, spondylosthesis. It made it all confusing, but that just means spine, 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 spine. Okay. Itis is inflammation. Osis is chronic condition. Listhesis means they've overlapped. They're structurally off. So you've got a vertebrae that goes beep, beep right? So that's spondylosthesis. It's slipped. One vertebra slips over another. Whoo, painful. Avoid direct pressure on the spine if someone's suffering from this. So use gentle massage away from the direct spinal area, but try not to, because those muscles are trying to stabilize that spine, try not to use deep tissue pressure on those areas because you want those muscles to be a little bit contracted in order to continue to support the spine. 